In the world of music law, one justice has the final word. The Honorable Judge Corey Wong presiding. He decides who is wrong and who is Wong. All right. Let's see here. It says here, Miss Lauren, that Mr. Steven was in the middle of a solo and you went back and started playing the melody, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor, I did, but- Well, okay, case closed. I rule in favor of- Your Honor. He was on his 17th chorus. 17th chorus? Is this true, Mr. Steven? Absolutely not, Your Honor. It's probably only like four, maybe five at most. Well, it sounds like we've got a classic he said, she said. Do we have any witnesses? We have a tape, Your Honor. Bring in the tape. 17 choruses. Still soloing. Nine minutes. 12 minutes. All right, I think I've seen enough here. Mr. Steven, what do you have to say for yourself? In my defense, Your Honor. I was just really in the pocket. Ooh. In the pocket? That must have been some pretty deep pocket. Miss Lauren, to satisfy my own curiosity, what tune was this? It was Misty. 17 choruses on a ballad? I rule in favor of Miss Lauren. Mr. Steven, I sentence you to 17 months of finger jail. 17 months? What? That's way too long. Yeah. 17 months, that's one month for every chorus. Sounds pretty poetic if you ask me. Mr. Steven, you are wrong. Miss Lauren, you are wrong. Uh, wait. Case closed. In preparation for tonight's episode, my lawyer has prepared the following statement. The topic of tonight's episode is judgment. That being the subject matter heretofore contained within the episode. That being episode five of Corey and the Wong. In saying that tonight's episode will be great, it is the sole opinion of myself, Corey Wong, that the episode that any guest, John Lamp, not responsible for any next spasms caused by the grooves laid forth by the rhythm section. to the general entertainment, enjoyability of a reasonable person. Stick around. Next on Idiot Detective. So I hear Corey Wong killed on stage last night. Totally. He's an absolute monster. Monster? Yeah, he was totally in the pocket. In the pocket? Yeah, he, he shredded for hours. Shredded? Oh, I got you now, you son of a gun. Today's guest, John Lampley. John plays the role of Trumpet 2 in this band, and if you don't know the difference between Trumpet 1 and Trumpet 2, basically Trumpet 1 plays the high notes, Trumpet 2 plays the lower stuff, and the solos or improvised parts. John, thanks for being with us. Wow, I'm stoked to be here. Trumpet 2, the king, dude. Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Dude. It's about the two. Today's episode is about judgment. Mm. And we know in the music world, cats like to judge. They do. It's, everybody's coming from a different place, you know, and, and some people just think that their place is the right one at <laughs> times. You, know, you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh, oh man. I, I feel like I'm somebody who has never been about that because there isn't a right place to be coming from, right? Okay, that's what I was going to ask. So there are certain things in music that are objective, mm. but the majority of music and art in general is subjective. Right. When is something right and when is something wrong in music? Mm. In my world or in my opinion, when it comes to music, you know, there are things like time that are universal, you know, having good time, practicing with the metronome so that the notes that you're playing are in good time. Sure. But, but what do your notes feel like? If you're playing on a pop tune, somebody's interpreting eighth notes as straight, Maybe somebody's interpreting them a little bit more swung. And it's, 
based on where they're coming from. Yeah. And, and I think that, I don't know, I think that's what makes music beautiful, honestly. Some of my favorite music is when you have people, a band made, made up of people coming from all different places, right? Because yeah. you have all these different feels and what makes it not right or wrong is the fact that everybody's listening to each other. Okay, so what are some of the most divisive yet trivial debates that musicians have? You know, I, I learned music in church, playing a lot of gospel music, being the yeah. horn player over in the corner. And, and I went to school and studied jazz. And a lot of times there are some musicians that are like, oh man, that, that cat doesn't know the language, so he's just trying to be soulful. Sure. Or, or, you know, a certain type of playing that maybe is more based out of the blues or gospel is considered trivial or, or not the style because you're choosing not to play, you know, more of the bebop language. Sure. And, and I think there are people that will say, oh, that's because he can't play. When in the reality, you know, you put somebody playing that same bebop language in the corner at a church and all of a sudden the tables are turned, right? Yeah. And I don't know, to me, it's just trivial because if something makes you feel good, you know, the, the language that you're coming from isn't necessarily as important sometimes, you know? Yeah. We've done our disclaimer enough. We've talked enough about saying there's not necessarily right or wrong in most things. Things are subjective, but we're getting into opinion land here. Mm. <laughs> mm. To you, what are some musical crimes? What is a musical crime to John Lampley? I mean, as a horn player, I feel like the cutoff is the cutoff, man. Like when, when you when you when you get especially when you're getting into like you know funk or pop you know a lot of people would be like oh yeah you know like James Brown or like they're just like grooving man they're just playing the same it's like man you listen to that stuff when a note is stopped the note stops yeah. you know what I'm saying you hit the brakes and the car is not like uh the car is like uh yeah it's important. You listen to the record, you, 100%. you know what I mean? It's like, you want to hear the hole. You don't want to hear the hole with somebody almost falling. It. You want to hear the hole. Yeah, and there are certain instruments to me that that, that the cutoff is more important. Than the, than the note even. Yes. Yeah. My final question for you is, when have you been in a position where you felt judged or maybe even unfairly judged? Mm. I feel, so I grew up in... Ohio, Northeast Ohio, small town, Talmadge, Ohio. And, you know, it's a warm place, you know, even with the music scene, you know, if you're out at a session or you're just taking lessons or whatever, a lot of people are very forgiving. It's like, oh no, you're good, man. You know, you're gonna get it. I remember moving to New York and specifically as a horn player, right? Like, oh man, what do I have to do? Like, how do you get the gig? You gotta go to the jam sessions. Yeah. All right, so let me go to these jam sessions. and. You know, I study jazz, but I feel like my thing has always kind of been this more kind of soulful, kind of like trying to think of myself as like singing through the instrument. And and I feel like you you step into some of these jam sessions in New York and immediately like, all right, do I remember all these bebop licks that I've been practicing? Yeah. And then somebody's up there that's just taking five courses on Cherokee and just blazing the whole time, right? And then the other musicians in line are like, all right, this cat, this cat. So then when I get up there, I'm already in my head of like, am I gonna do my thing or am I gonna try to do this other thing? And even just the feeling of being in that place when you're about to put the horn to your face, it doesn't feel good, right? You feel like you're playing to try to, to impress or for like the New York jazz sure, crowd to yeah. be like, yeah. 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 And I, I think eventually I kind of just realized that, you know, I can try to do that, but at the end of the day, the best version of what I'm going to play and who I'm going to be on stage is, is me being me through the horn. So the moral of the story is <laughs> you got to be you.
the Honorable Judge Corey Wong decides who is wrong and who is Wong. Your Honor, I bought a thousand guitar picks in bulk last year. Now they're all gone. And Ron is the only one who has been in my studio. Uh, <gasps> object, object, with all due respect, Your Honor, I have never in my life touched guitar picks. Pockets, both of you. Turn them inside out. Picks, picks, picks. Bailiff, bring in the couch. I believe we found your pick thief. How did you get my couch? I rule in favor of Ms. Lois. Mr. Couch, I sentence you to five years of living with kittens and a Siberian Husky. It's nothing but shredding and shedding for you, pal. Mr. Couch, you are wrong. Miss Lois, you are wrong. I thought you were wrong. I am. Judge Wong. The couch is wrong. You're wrong. Now move along. And what does that make me? You are wrong. All right, big thanks to John Lampley for joining us. We'll see you next time.